close your eyes and watch your breath. In other words, notice where you feel the breath when it comes in. And notice how it feels. Does it feel just right? You might want to experiment. Take some good, long, deep in and out breaths to see how that feels. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good anymore, then you can change. Shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Fast, slow. Breathing just down into the chest, breathing down all the way to your feet. Try to get acquainted with what's going on inside you. Because we spend so much time paying attention to the world outside that we forget our own territory inside. It's like someone who has a lot of land but goes trying to plant crops in other people's land. They might just take the, the results of your, your planting, because after all, it is their land. In the meanwhile, you've neglected what you've got here inside. So go back and look. If there are weeds growing up, you're trying to uproot them. In other words, if there are any patterns of tension anywhere in the body, you just try to breathe right through them to dissolve them away. Think of the breath being like a big bath that goes through the body each time it comes in, each time it goes out. It dissolves away all the tension in the body. Now we've got a better place to stay here in the present moment, a good place for the mind to settle down and to develop what can be developed here in the present moment. You can develop alertness. You can develop mindfulness. If you want to see your mind in action, this is where you've got to watch it. Because after all, it is your mind that's shaping your life. The things you decide to do and say and think are the things that are going to shape your life now and on in the future. So you want to be right here where it's happening. And to stay right near, you want to have a sense of belonging here, a sense of being at home here. So try to breathe into the body in a way that makes it good to be here, so you can stay here with a steady gaze. Because so many things happen in little glimpses in the mind. You know a little bit about your own mind, but there are a lot of connections that you don't see because you don't stay here steadily. So you want to settle down and make this your default place to stay. And that way when a thought comes up in the mind, you can check it. Okay, is this going to head in the direction of greed or aversion or delusion? Or is it something that's got mindfulness and discernment? If it looks like it's good, okay, give it a try. Act on it. And then notice the results, because sometimes things that look good don't turn out to be good in the end. So you have to be, keep careful watch, both on the beginning of the intention and on the result of following it through. And this way you learn. Over time you begin to re recognize, okay, these are the, the warning signs. Now, something may look good on the surface, but it's got something lurking just underneath. And if your gaze is good, instead you get to see that what's underneath, and then you, you're not fooled by it anymore. So you stay here because you want to shape your life well. And this is where your life is being shaped, here in the present moment. So try to settle down here so you understand things clearly and can gain a lot more intelligent control about the shape that you're giving to your life, so that it comes out as you want it.